All right, Kevin, part two. Decided to make this thing kind of a part one and part two thing, where part one would be the music. Uh, me indulging and playing way too much guitar, way too much loudness and volume. And, and uh, part two would be where I just talked about hats and stuff. So this way, instead of the people who like to fast forward past the music, you could just like just put on part two instead of you know, doing that. It's much easier. I'm going to separate some of these from you. Yeah, the music one, the talking one. I don't know how that's going to work out, but uh, today we're going to do it that way. Okay, that's my ice coffee. Salute. See you guys. To us. No. The first thing, when you're buying a shop hat, you're, you know, whether you're going to the shop or you're doing a, a website kind of purchase, um, what do I like to think? I like to think lasting power you know something that I'm gonna like now but I'm also gonna like it in the long run um, I've gotten a lot of hats at JJ's we got what we call a season hat you know like one free summer hat one free winter hat a year it's part of the perks of working there and as long as you work there like you know a year or so and you've got like you know some kind of serious like you know I'm gonna be staying there kind of agreement um, they start giving you perks like that so Getting one hat a year, two times actually, two hats a year, um, that's 50 hats right there, not including the hats I've bought myself and I've been given by sales reps and uh, you know, there's just so many other hats I've acquired, uh, free hats, I go in pork pies, clothes, I got uh, all sorts of gifts and, and stuff. And um, my aunt makes me hundreds of hats, these knit hats, these uh, Japanese paper and bamboo hats and stuff. So I have so many, so many hats. I'm mean, just everywhere. They're everywhere, I have to tell you. There's a point here. Hold on. I have the window open today. Enjoying this nice coffee. It's very good. First thing I like to think is, yeah, staying power. What am I going to not regret, you know? Um, okay, I know for me... The stuff that I tend to wear over and over again and keep for many years and really cherish, you know, the stuff I keep really nice, tends to be like classic hat shapes in vibrant colors. You know, like this hat in uh, Kelly Green or this hat, you know, this kind of shape, a classical shape in a, uh, a good color, a really you know, not like gray or brown, a, a color color. I like, you know, stuff like royal blue and kelly green, teal blue, uh, powder blue, aqua, uh, you know, emerald green. I like all those kind of colors. Purple, uh, lavender, hot pink, pink, orange, chartreuse, uh, turquoise, color color. I like those colorful colors. It's just sort of the way I am. Um, I like a white hat or an eggshell hat. And, um, you know, not only. I like black hats in some cases. You know, it depends on what it is. And I like earthy hats like uh, olive and brown and stuff too. But uh, my main thing is like, yeah, a classic hat. Usually either a three inch or like a two and three eighth inch brim. They're like my two styles. I do like kind of like a two and three eighth, two and a half look, and then I do a three inch look. You guys mostly see me in my Kelly Green one, which is two and three eighths. Uh, before that, I wore all three inches, and I just like that a little bit more. When I discovered that Kelly Green style, I said, you know what, I like this a lot. It's a little more subtle, and it just works okay. And I started liking that width also. So I like, you know, a certain kind of a look. Center crease, I'm not into the teardrop and stuff. I like a, a fairly deep crown, but not like, you know, hugely exaggerated deep. I like it kind of a little bit bigger and deeper. And just a regular graceful, like a center crease, you know, that has kind of like a graceful lines to it. No angles or squares. See, it's all very soft and rounded looking. Same thing with the pinches. They're soft there's nothing angular. When you're doing a teardrop, there's a lot of right angles and square kind of, it's kind of like a tight pinchy kind of a, you know, everything becomes very uh, square look, you know. So I'm not really into the uh, 
that sort of film noir look where everything is teardropped and, you know, kind of jaunty, what's the word? Rakish. It's like a rakish kind of like, you know, Bob Fosse, jazz hands. It's a cool thing. Michael Jackson did it the best. You know, I see, even Mick Jagger used to wear stuff like that, you know. A lot of girls do it, like Sophia Loren and people like that. You know, they have that over the eye kind of uh, mysterious look. I've seen Keith Richards back in the old days playing it off, although I think he did bring down Brian Jones, uh, Jimi Hendrix doing the brim down, doing kind of a flattish brim thing too, like this, Hendrix. Um, there's a lot of interesting looks, and um, what you need to decide for yourself is what are you going to like in the long, long run. Um, you know, not just this year, like the red bottoms are trendy. I need to have with a red bottom. Everybody's going to think that's cool. Okay, what are you going to think this year and next year and five years and ten years from now? You still going to be putting out at the top of your collection? Is it cool? You know, you like it? Or is it like, oh, this hat is way too wide for me. Why did I got? Oh, I got it because of that red bottom. Oh yeah. All right. Well, living life. So, get you know, don't get a hat for like one reason because because it's a beaver. You've been looking for a beaver for a long time, but everything else is wrong. You know, get the right hat. Um, it's kind of like me, you know, like I like flashy guitars and stuff and I love them to have like sparkles and uh, I love colors, you know, like green and purple and stuff. But it turns out the, the real guitar that I've been looking for, um, it's pretty much the same model I've been playing and um, it's more important for me to get the right one right now. So I'm going to get the, you know, that had uh, that guitar in white, let's say, rather than to get something that's not going to perform the right way, where I'm going to just, yeah, okay, the sparkles are really cool, it's cool looking, but it's not my style, I can't get my groove on with it, I'm not going to like this in the long run, it's probably going to be like a, a dust collector, as Dave says, and we all know about those, you know, we, we make a crappy choice, we don't, make your choice count, okay? That's what I'm saying. These hats are designed to live like a lifetime, like 30 years, uh, an entire lifetime. Even like you get your father's hats or your grandfather's hats. You know about that, right? They outlive us and stuff. So make your choice count. Um, that's what I'm saying. We don't care if you, you know, ask us a lot of questions, send us a bunch of emails, phone calls and stuff. You come in, you walk out, you come in, you walk out, you know, it takes you two, three times to choose make the right choice you know that's important um watch my videos ask me questions uh send us emails uh, whatever you need to do you know the best thing is really to call you know call during the day and talk to one of the salesmen who can actually hold the hat in his hand talk to you like you know human to human we have a toll free line 800-622-1911 so 1911-622-1911 it's the 800 number so you could call 800-622-1911, or you could do from out of the country, uh, you can't do 800 numbers, you have to do 212-239-4368. Uh, That's 212-239-4368 for international. Call us, we're doing short days, I forgot what the hours are now, like 11 to 5 or something like, like that. Um, I don't even know if they're doing Sundays, maybe not anymore. The hours are posted, the new COVID hours, you know, we used to be open every day you now, and uh, till you know, like 7 o'clock at night and stuff, 5 on Sundays, but now it's different. Uh, I, think, I think we're at 11 to 5. Call during the day if you have questions. Uh, the Great Plains is one of the really hot felt hats from Stetsons that just came in that's going to be like shooting out very quickly. It's the flat brim, navy blue with a little, uh, like a buffalo nickel looking concho thing and just like a blue leather kind of lanyard around it. It's really cool. It's a flat rim, but it's not huge. It's just kind of, you know, a little bigger than mine. Excellent. Great Plains is awesome. Um, I should be getting one, but uh, I'm not. There's a lot of hats I like, but whatever. I tend to wear the same stuff anyway. So I'll probably stick with my old hats and just keep buying guitars. Um, okay, so you walk into a hat store, the first thing is you should have some kind of idea what you want. Some kind of an idea. Um, 
You want something for every day. You want something that makes you look cool, something that makes you look whatever. I don't know. You want something that's um, good to wear with your suits and your overcoats going to work. You want something that's good in the rain, whatever. You know, you tell them something. Um, where are you going to wear it? How you want it to look? Maybe you have a certain kind of image you want to put out. Like, I want to look gentlemanly. I want to look really cool. Like, I want something that's really new and edgy. Like, just like all those, you know, like uh, movie stars and rock stars and sports stars are wearing. Like Cam Newton. Cam Newton's always in JJ's. He's come in like I don't know how many times, a dozen or something. And you know, he comes in and buys like custom hats, like they're peanuts. You know, it's like, all right, let me get four or five of these custom hats made up, you know, like with super duper crowns. One of them they took um, glow in the dark paint and they poured it over this huge round open crown. They just poured it. It's like, and it's almost like an invisible glow in the dark paint. But when you pass through certain lights or like, you know, like UV lights, it just kind of like, it turns into this almost like spider-like design, just like pouring down it. It's really cool. Uh, they could do a glow in the dark hat for you. Beaver hat, if you want a furry hat, like from the, you know, the late 60s, early 70s, uh, you want to take it back to Superfly, they can make you a beaver hat, something furry and white and off white and cream. Probably not white, but close to white. And cream and brown and burgundy and blue and whatever you want. They have them with uh, cheetah prints, you know, if you want like a leopard one or a cheetah. They have ones, I think, that have patchworks on it. Um, different colored animal prints. Um, we have velour if you don't want a full out like uh, you know, um, furry hat, he can make you a custom look and all kinds of stuff. But when you, well that's a tangent, okay, let's go back. When you go into a shop, you want to tell the guy something that's uh, a little bit more um, helping him to know what your goal is like. So let's say, um, okay, let's say you want something for me, okay, I want something to replace my green hat that's in a vivid color, that's got the right brim for me, deep enough crown, so whatever, you know. Um, and you have to let the, the guy know that. Um, you also want to know, are you going to go hat, are you going to go cap, are you going to go dress hat, or are you going to go western? Western hat is going to be kind of cowboyish, you know, some of them are half cowboy, but the felt is heavy and thick. It's really good in rain and snow and stuff like that, but uh, it's much heavier, less comfortable. It has a break in period, you know, but they do last a, lot, a lifetime. Dress hats are softer, you know, they're just, you know, much more pliable and soft. Uh, and they're lightweight, but, you know, they can't take lots of soakings of rain and everything because they can lose their shape a little easier. They don't, they just don't hold the weight of the water, you know, so they can dry funny. Um, so I'm going to say they're less durable and they're less, you know, for bad, bad weather and bad rain, but much more comfortable, lightweight, good for every day, you know, softer, lighter weight, which becomes a big thing, you know, if you're wearing a hat all the time. Um, you know, think western or dress, then think uh, after that, you want to think color, um, what kind of color. Think about your eyes, if you have blue eyes, something that'll look good with that maybe. Um, what you wear what's going to look good with this outfit, okay? So here's this guy with the light eyes who wears black a lot. You know, he wear a lot of black and wear flashy t-shirts, but a lot of black t-shirts. Um, all right, so how about something, you know, in a, like a vivid kind of color that'll go well with black outfits since black t-shirts, like through Kelly Green or a bright purple or a, a bright blue or something like that or an orange or whatever we have, you know, purple and something. Okay, that's cool, yeah. Now think brim size. So it's very methodical. First thing, you're going to go cap or hat, and you're going to do a western or dress. Uh, after that, you think what color. After that, you think what brim size, you know. Think about brim. You can narrow it down. You just try stuff in a two inch, a two and a half, a two and three quarter, two and three eight, and you just try it. You do down, you do up, you can do all the way down. You decide which way you're going to rock it. Okay, I'm a brim up guy. You get your angle down, am I going to do a little side angle, I'm wear it square, I'm going to do it on the back of my head. Um, everybody's different with that stuff. So I like to wear my stuff a little deep, oversized. Fit is the last thing, that's the easiest, you know. Just go bigger if you're in doubt and tighten it up. Just don't go small and want it to stretch. Um, 
they don't stretch that much. If anything, they can dehydrate the leathers and get tighter. So go bigger if you're in, in between two sizes and just tighten it up. Have the guy tighten it up. And if he won't do it, uh, ask for the foam and I'll show you how to do it. I have like five videos showing you how to tighten the hat. So yeah, got your color, you got your brim size. It's just the brim thing is a, uh, what do you call it, process of elimination. So give me a three inch, give me a two and a half, give me a two and three eighths. You try them on. Am I a down guy, an up guy? You figure that out. You work them out, you say, I like this brim. Okay. Now you're not going to have every color and every brim size, it's just you're going to have to make mm -hmm. sacrifices. So, okay, I like a two and three eighths, but all we have is a two and a half. That's maybe what you have to get. So, after that, all right. So, um, I don't know why there's no package. Can you try the mailbox. Close the door. Thanks. Okay. So you got your um and I never like to edit. It's always best not to, right? It's more fun. My son is wondering where his uh little present downstairs is. Mm. Nespresso capsule with chocolate milk. It's like that lactate chocolate milk. Man, it's really good. Lactose free. Man, that is good. It's like mocha. Just pop it under the Nespresso machine. Mm -hmm. Like five seconds, pour a little chocolate milk in there, a couple of ice cubes. Whew. Nice summer drink. Anyway, um, so part two is about how to choose it through process of elimination. Western or dress hat, hat or cap. When you're going towards the cap side, you know there's newsboy caps, there's ivy caps, right? There's also stuff like scully caps and things like, um, what do you call it, Greek fishermen and yacht caps with a little peak in front. That's a third sort of category or shape. But once you get into each, you know, like newsboys or ivies, each road has, you know, wide newsboys, narrow newsboys, and uh, baker boys, a.k.a. spitfires, you know, newsboys that don't snap, or three-way caps. Um, Flat caps, wide flat caps, narrow flat caps, duck bills, extended ones like uh, the, the Quiet Man. You know, there's all kinds of uh, dark caps. So we did not focus on caps today. We'll focus more on hats. We decided we're going for a dress hat in a vivid color to match this guy's blackish hair, blackish clothes, bluish eyes. So we're going to give him a color that looks good with his eyes something aqua green, kelly green, uh, sage green, anything like that light blue, powder blue, royal blue, those colors are going to make that guy look great because he's got, you know, sort of brightish eye color, which uh, is probably, you know, one of his better features, so, all right, he's got a lot of hair that sticks out. So we don't want to go with like a little teeny tiny brim because he'll get that crusty the crown kind of stuff sticking out the sides thing. You don't want that. So we'll go with a bigger kind of oversized. Our options are limited because this guy wants some kind of crazy color which is basically, you know, 5% of our inventory. So we've got to choose between like the four hats that are bright colored here, you know. And he wants a big brim. So it makes the choice very easy. Okay, so you, here's your colors. What do you like better in these four styles? Um, well, the two and three eighths is usually my brim size, but I don't like your colors there. I'll, I'll look at this two and five eighths inch brim because it's such a wicked color, but uh, okay. You know, you gotta try everything. Make sure it's deep enough. Let's say your head is hitting this and you need it to go there, okay? You gotta alter that hat. We're gonna hit it, hit it with steam here while you press on the inside and make that little protrusion. So in other words, we could get your head all the way down in there without it popping out like that. We're gonna make a little, okay? So, since this guy likes to wear his hat so deep, he needs a deep crown. 
and we only have four hats in the color he wants and the rim so the crown's not deep enough very common issue your choices are tightening up the hat which is going to make it look goofy we like a big look so we just give him the big oversized look we make sure he's got the clearance he needs and it's tight enough that it doesn't fall off so what we're going to do is tighten it here but how do we know how tight it is you don't because the crown's in the way so first get the crown completely out of the way put the hat back on and size it okay now it's falling all the way down to my eyes because this was stopping me before i was resting on that crown okay where i want to fit down there really but i want to tighten up follow me okay so we undo that so that's not in the way anymore we pad the back until we got it exactly the right fit okay then we bring this down again and we're going to steam it steam it and make that little bubble around my head there. so it's basically steaming it and pressing from the inside and making a little protrusion and then holding it holding it holding it holding it you know you just kind of you don't want it to pop out okay you just hold it until it let you let go and it'll stay or you could put it on steam it press down make sure it's not so hot that you burn yourself and then just kind of trace around that bump it's not hard um, that one way to do it yeah as you steam here you feel with your hands you make sure it's not like burning hot you know you don't want to burn your head then you just put the hat on and you'll see it'll make the bump by itself so it's deep enough and it's tight enough process of elimination as far as size it's the same thing too you don't know whether to go for a non um, uh, I don't know let's say you're a 57 or a 58 okay now these run really tight the 58 I'm not even sure if that's good let's find out pop the crown out first see how it fits around here 58 is actually not that big it was a more of a depth issue all right I think they run super tight. 58 and 59. So let's try the 58. I'm still not getting enough room. We gotta tighten up a 59, I think, you know. Try the 59. It's so incredibly big, I can't even get away with it. Okay, we'll go back to the 58. It's a process of elimination for, for size two. Um, sometimes you'll try on a, the bigger size when you're between two sizes and the big one just looks so baggy and the crown looks so wide for your head. Like these lines are like out here, you know, and your head's over here. It can't be out there. It'll just look like, you know, ridiculously big. It's like me trying a quadruple X hat on and tightening it up to size. Yeah, it'll fit, but it'll look ridiculous, you know. Um, there are limits. Sometimes you don't want to always go for the bigger, bigger thing. My thing is just don't ever buy a hat on comfortably tight. Um, it doesn't get better. It gets worse, so... Once you do that once, you never want to do it again, and after that, you'll start buying them big again, so. Take it from me, don't buy your hat tight. That's about it. I think we're gonna uh, call it a day. We did an entire uh, musical video before this one, so I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not even gonna uh, play anything. We'll just say, uh, Kevin from JJ Hat Center, thanks for joining us. Hey, yeah.